Hey guys, welcome into the channel. It is Thursday, March 28th, 2024. I want to talk a minute about the fallout from the changes on Macari yesterday, the 27th. If you didn't hear, Macari made three huge changes to their platform. One is there is no more selling fees. Instead of the seller paying a fee, the 10% fee, the buyers will now pay a buyer premium of 2.9% plus 30 cents, it's basically the credit card processing fee that's gonna be included into the buyer's purchase when they buy it. The second change is that buyers can return items within three days, 72 hours for any reasons, no questions asked, change mine, wrong item, item not as described, wrong color, wrong size, it doesn't matter, they can return it. And the third one is that you now as a seller have to pay a $2 fee to make a transfer or a $3 uh, fee to make an instant transfer. $2 for the normal three to five day bank transfer and $3 for an instant transfer to get your money no matter what. So let's break it down by one, and I want to talk about the fallout and what I saw in the comment sections on my video yesterday, which I'll link below, and in the Facebook group, Thrifter Reseller World, that I own. So let's talk about the fee transfer. Paying 2 to $3, either 2 or $3 for money to transfer your bank account is ludicrous. So ACHs typically don't cost companies any money. Wire transfers do. I send ACHs all the time. With that said, especially when you do it in bulk business like a company like Macari would, not even me. So what they're doing there is they're taking away. So they're saying, hey, sellers, we're going to give you your fees, your 10% fee back. But in return, you know, we're losing that fee. We need to charge you monetarily, 2 or $3 to transfer your money. And that will discourage sellers from doing transfers every single day. Now sellers are going to say, well, I don't want to pay five days a week, $2 fees and pay 10 bucks a week to transfer my money. I'll just do it once a week or once every other week and only pay two bucks, you know, uh, every couple of weeks to do it. And that means the money's going to sit in Macari's bank account and earn them interest. PayPal does make a lot of money on interest as well. So they're going to make up the money by getting that fee out of you and by earning interest on the money. That's how they're going to make up for that 10%. I think that's really sleazy by a company. Giving us the selling fees back is awesome, but doing the other stuff is kind of like, really? You're going to get it back from us one way or the other. Like, come on. So the second side of this is taking those 10% fees away. That's amazing. That's an awesome. That's a win-win for the sellers and for the buyers because it gives the sellers a little more wiggle room in the price and it means we don't pay fees. So that's pretty awesome. So there's really no downside to that. Then we talk about the buyer having to pay more. So buyers seeing a fee that they don't even understand in some cases because they don't follow this stuff or this news or my channel or other stuff like we do. They may not understand what that's for. They may have you know, missed the message that Macari might be sending out to everyone or buyers. I don't even know if they did. I'll have to check. So that's going to discourage. Buyers are going to say, well, what the hell? I'm buying a $30 item now. All of a sudden, I've got like an extra dollar, dollar, whatever fee. Like, what is this all about? And they're going to be, nope, cancel, cancel order, back up. I've already seen people posting on Facebook that they got messages from potential buyers on Macari that they backed out of an order because they didn't recognize a 2 or $3 fee. Bad. Bad on Macari. Not to mention it now increases the price that the buyer is paying, which means we have to come down on our price as a seller to offset it in a lot of cases. Or the buyers might ask, or if they don't understand, they might want a lower price or they might expect a lower price and they say, well, I'm willing to pay $30 for this item, but all of a sudden now it's $33 because the fee or $32 you might have to drop that price to 27, 28. It's not our problem to pay that, but that is how it will impact sales. I assure you, it always does. Whenever there's an extra fee on top of something, it affects what the potential buyers either want to buy for, whether they want to pay, or whether they buy at all. So count on that, I've already seen it. So when we start talking about the negative pros versus cons of all these changes, no fees is an obvious con. Charging the buyer hurts us with potential sales. All it can do is hurt our sales, so that's a con. And then charging us to transfer our own money and probably, almost certainly, earning interest off of it while it sits in the bank and we wait on it is an obvious con. So we got two cons, one big pro. Do they even out? I'm not sure. I ask you guys this to leave me your thoughts in the comment section. Do you think that those two cons, that the one big positive no selling fees evens out? Or is there going to be too many buyers who are scared away from this? Uh, is there going to be too many sellers who the returns? Obviously, the return section of this is horrible, right? No fees, paying you know, money to get our stuff in, and buyers paying that premium. The fourth one, no you know, three-day returns for any reason is absolutely insane. That's going to scare off a lot of sellers right away. 
Is that return policy enough to lure in the buyers to ignore that processing fee they're going to be paying because they get the, you know, Macari's going to frame it if they haven't already as, well, yeah, you got to pay a little extra processing fee, but we protect you no matter what with three days guaranteed returns. Is that going to weigh on the buyer enough to get them to say, okay, I'm cool with the extra $3 fee. I'm going to buy this because I can return this for any reason. I guess it's a wait and see game. We'll have to find out. What do you think? Do you think that that return policy change is going to outweigh that processing fee they have to pay to where the buyers are like, yeah, I'll buy from these guys. I guess we'll wait and find out because a lot of people are worried about scammers. They're worried about, uh, you know, not getting what they say they're supposed to be getting. There's a lot of reasons that return policy is, is really good for a buyer, but really crappy for sellers, especially in a rental game. Now, three days is not enough for someone to rent it for the weekend wedding and then send it back. They would have to really hurry, but there's still cases I could see where buyers could buy stuff and try it out and send it back, I suppose, especially in the clothing market, right? Anyways, it's a lot to digest. It's a big change. It's probably the single biggest change any platform has ever made all at one time in the history of platforms. There's always been fee changes, fee increases, shipping changes, uh, policy changes. There's been multiple at one time, but I think this is probably the biggest. Am I wrong? Can somebody help me? Is this, has anybody ever done more changes all at the same time on one platform all in, you know, one day? I don't think that's ever happened. Anyhow, I can't wait to read the comments. I read through all the comments yesterday. I'll respond to some more of them tonight. I'll respond to these comments. Thank you as always for watching the channel, checking in with the news and the breaking, um, uh, stories that come out of my channel and out of the world of reselling and business. Uh, tomorrow's video is going to be all about the iPhone Apple lawsuit and the monopoly. So make sure you subscribe. Stay tuned for um, that video tomorrow on Friday. And also, if you need fulfillment or listing help, I have a service that does um, three services in one, or you can take any one of the services. You can send your photos to us and we make your listings. That's option one. Option two, you can make your own listings and just ship us your inventory. We'll pay to have it shipped to us. We'll store it and ship it out for you when it sells. So basically, we'll be your storage facility and your fulfillment shipping. Or you can do all in one. We'll take the photos. We'll make the listings. We'll store it. We'll ship it. We'll send it out. We'll do everything. So you have option one, option two, or option three. Email me, rockstarflipper at gmail.com. I'll send you the pricing uh, of all three broken down along with the process, how it works. And you can decide which way you want to go. And we can get you started with as many as 25 items, 50 items, 100 items, whatever you want to do. You don't have to dedicate your entire inventory to us until you are experienced and ready to go. Rockstarflipper at gmail.com is the email for all of that information. Thank you, everyone. Make sure you hit that like button. Subscribe for the video tomorrow and the rest of the weekend. Have a wonderful evening, and I'll see you next time.